Good morning, everyone. It's great to be with you on this fine Monday morning. It's been a bit hectic for Polly over here in uh, Gloucester, Virginia today. Had doctor's appointments and stuff, but made it back by nine o'clock so we can have our, our wonderful Monday morning session. So let's begin as we do by uh, doing our breathing exercise. So we go in through the nose, hold, and out through the mouth. So here we go, in through the nose, hold, out through the mouth. In through the nose, hold, out through the mouth. Continue. In through the nose, hold, out through the mouth. And so let's uh, open our eyes if they're closed and wiggle our fingers and our toes and come back into our body. Again, it's wonderful to see everyone this morning. If you're out there, send me a little message. Let me know you're there. Today, I want to talk about retraining consciousness. Um, as I've said before, you know, we, we, I, I am the divine presence of God wherever I am. And so are you, the divine presence of God wherever you are. We are endowed with all of the applications and all of the benevolent activities that we perceive God to have. We are endowed with those as a child of God. Now we are trained from before, from the moment of conception, we're trained in the ways of the three-dimensional plane and the ways of the three-dimensional plane are fear, separation, not enough, not good enough, not smart enough, not pretty enough. And therefore we operate out of trying to catch up or out of a place where we require salvation. We require being saved from our damaged selves to be able to experience our divine consciousness. I am here to tell you that that is false information. And what we really want to do is retrain our consciousness to accept and embrace the divine essence that each of us are. And so speaking of retraining, from this little booklet that I have published called Retraining Consciousness, from the very beginning of that, re retraining consciousness is a specific spiritual practice within oneself, upon oneself, about oneself, excuse me, to change oneself. Retraining is a conscious change of thought and the work begins and ends in the thought of the one applying the retraining. It begins and ends with me. It begins and ends with you wherever you are. 
Retraining is the science of inducing within consciousness concepts, accept, acceptances, and realizations of whatever the practical need may be. And the first retraining practice is define the nature of all that is. Define the nature of God. God and all that is are the one, the same. And so here's the retraining. There is only one God. Mind, infinite good, infinite love, infinite truth. This mind rules and governs all. This mind is my mind now. The life, love, and mind of all that is acts within me at this instant. I am filled completely with the light and spirit of truth. Through my mind, goddess thinks. Through my heart, God expresses divine love. Through my body, truth expresses perfect life, health, and vitality. There is no life, truth, substance, nor intelligence in negativity. Goddess, the good, is all there really is, and I am surrounded and filled with it. In my life, all that is, is the only activity now taking place. I have spiritual wisdom, spiritual perception, and spiritual discernment. I love truth, speak truth, Rejoice in truth, for truth is all there really is, for divine mind is truth. Good morning, Mary Lee. Retraining for divine guidance. God is mind, and this perfect intelligence is now acting in me, through me and for me. The perfect goddess mind created me and is the thinking capacity within me. I know that in divine mind is the answer to every question and the fulfillment of every need. I am now definitely inspired to right action in my life by the ideas of spirit, which are acting in my consciousness. I know what to do, when to do it, and how to do it. I am open and receptive to God's guidance, God's wisdom, and God's love. I rejoice in my sure knowing in this inner wisdom, and I am successful in all ways. And this affirmation pushes out the fear of separation from divine consciousness, from God, from all that is. The second retraining application is to define myself, define yourself as a spiritual being. There is only one mind yourself as a spiritual being. There is only one mind, God, infinite good, and I am made in the image and likeness of goddess. I am a perfect being in a perfect world, governed by a perfect God. I express divine wisdom, divine intelligence, and divine knowledge. When I speak, divine love speaks. This is your affirmation. When I speak, Divine love speaks. Goddess speaks by means of me, for I am truth's consciousness. I am forever individualizing infinite power, the infinite power of divine love. I am spiritual and perfect now, for there is nothing but absolute and absolute's manifestation. I am spirit. I am love. I am life. 
all that God is, I am. The full mind, life, and love of great spirit are now in action in me and through me. I am a perfect idea in the mind of goddess, and all power is given unto me. There is no evil in my world. For through me, good alone rules and governs my life. I am divine. I speak truth, live truth, radiate truth. For truth is all there really is. And so it is. Amen. Retraining affirmations for health. Divine mind is the health of people. I believe that I am made in the image and likeness of God. Therefore, this must include perfect health, vitality, strength, and well-being. There is nothing, no thing to fear. For goddess is the only power and the only presence in life. There is no fatigue. For the divine life and divine love is my life. It cannot be depleted. It is an ever-renewing, ever-revitalizing action of spirit. There is no dis-ease. No sickness. There is only the perfect action of God in me manifesting health. I know this, believe this, and give thanks for this. It is true in this instant. And so it is. Amen. Good morning, Anthony. It's good to see you. And next is to define this world, this very world that I live in as the kingdom of heaven, this very world that you live in as the kingdom of heaven. There is nothing but all that is, and all that is manifesting. Humanity is the full and complete expression of goddess mind. I am the consciousness of God, and through me, all divine ideas reveal themselves in my world. Wherever goddess is, there heaven is. And so I am in heaven at every instant, for I am always in the divine presence and conscious of the infinite mind. My present world is heaven. It is good, it is alive with truth, love, and perfection. There is no fear, evil, in my present experience, for God is where I am and is what I am. My heavenly world is filled with spiritual beings forever blessing and benefiting me. No human can hurt me, for divine love fills all the people in my world. Nothing can confuse me, for God is order, harmony, and right action at every instant and in all places. There is no past nor future. Today is the day of creator. Today is the day of manifestation. This moment is the only moment in time there is, and this moment is saturated with goddess. It surrounds me, fills me, and upholds me now and forevermore. I live, move, and have my being in God's universe of good. And all is well. And all is well. I affirm the presence of God, and I deny with that affirmation the fear of separation. Retraining for prosperity. Goddess is my unfailing, permanent, and perfect supply. I do not work for a living. I work for the glory of truth and the good of my fellow human beings. There is no lack, no limitation. 
divine mind and its perfect ideas sustain me in all my ways. I live in abundance. I rejoice in plenty and I am prosperous in all my ways. Goddess's money is mine to use for good and I use it now with pleasure and wisdom. And so it is. And so it is. So we affirm our knowingness. And in affirming our knowingness, eliminate the fear. I believe in all that is the good omnipotent. I believe that God is perfect mind, love, law, truth, and activity. I believe I am the creation of goddess and I am the expression of all mind is. My world is God's world. It is heaven right here, right now. There is nothing to fear, for I have complete trust in God, the one mind in action in me and through me at every instant. I have no fear, for Goddess is with me, for me, and around me. Nothing can hurt me, depress me, impoverish me, or make me ill. There is nothing but Goddess and her manifestation in my life at all times. I have faith in good. I have faith in divine love. I have faith in the power of truth. And it is working within me for my eternal good. I trust in the great order of mind and its perfect operation. I am calm. I am poised. I am confident. For God alone rules and governs my life and affairs. I am free. Praise absolute. I am free. And so it is. Training for success. My mind is the center of divine operation. The divine operation is always for expansion, a fuller expression. And this means the creation of something beyond what has gone before, something entirely new, not included in past experience, though proceeding out of it by an orderly sequence of growth. Therefore, since the divine cannot change its inherent nature, it must operate in the same manner in me. Consequently, in my own special world of which I am the center, it moves forward now to produce new conditions, always in advance of any that have gone before. And so it is. And so it is. And lastly, we lock all of this affirmation, we lock all of this truth in giving into the laws of God, into the laws of the universe. And we do it through humility and service. And we pray, may I so live in the divine spirit that all who contact me shall be healed that all who contact my thought shall be blessed and that whosoever has an evil thought against me shall be cleansed and in that cleansing find their good. And so my friends, I offer you the opportunity to retrain your consciousness and embrace the presence of your divine self. If you would like a copy of this little booklet, please message me, let me know. It's $8, including shipping, and I'll be happy to send it to you. I acknowledge you as the presence of God wherever you are. I embrace you 
as my brother, my sister, my mother, my father, myself. I acknowledge you as the creative force in the universe. Namaste. Namaste.